Hey guys, it's me Steve WB and welcome back to my channel and today is the day that you've been waiting for ever since I made my review of the Super Ride S1000 which was I, I'm thinking about six months ago but I really don't know for sure so don't quote me on that and here it is my little Super Ride S1000 as you can see she's holding up pretty well not looking too shabby for the old girl couple dings on the handlebars and some dings on the pedals and dings on the little stanchions in the back but that's just for me being clumsy and wrecking but overall construction it's holding up pretty well you can see my little modification for my external battery it's been a good bike i've got almost 500 kilometers on it one thing that I want to show you is, if you've noticed, this is where the brain is. This is the little tail light right here. I started having issues with it at like about 200 kilometers. And the issue was while I was sitting there, it would start just like bouncing like back and forth. Like it was trying to correct itself on a very minute level. I wasn't sure what it was. And so what I did is I, I checked the box right here and the box was kind of shaky. And so when it would correct, the box would bounce, making it correct the other way. So I just put a zip tie on the handle to the frame to lock this in really tight. And that resolved the issue. Not something I particularly think that you should have to do on a $1,500 electric vehicle, but it works. And since I bought it secondhand, there's not really much of a warranty. But I have reached out to the company that made it. Now I'm going to show you some footage of how I ride the Super Ride now before I was on the seat. And if you saw in the video, and I'll play it right here, and you see me going down the street and I'm like wiggling and wobbling kind of all over the place sitting on the seat. I have found that just stand up on it and kind of go with the flow, like limber up a little bit, let the bumps, give a little give on the bumps. And now I can do much better cruising with much more stability. And I don't wreck nearly as much as I used to because when you're standing on your feet and it starts to get out of shape, you're in a much better position to correct it as to where if you're just sitting on your butt. So let's check out some footage of me just cruising around in the parking lot showing you how I ride now. Okay, so not bad for a 47 year old feller, huh? Getting the hang of this thing for sure. But I was only one wreck away of never riding this thing again because the first time I was out on the main road on a sidewalk and I hit up my first good bump and it got all wobbly and threw me right over the handlebars, sprained my wrist, you know, scuffed up various limbs. I don't remember all the damages I had and it hurt pretty bad. Then the second one was when I was doing the range test and the battery was getting weak and I was crossing the main highway, which is a four or five lane road. And I leaned too hard in it and the motor gave out because the battery was getting low. And when I did that, I threw my feet forward to catch myself. Then the bike corrected itself and came back. I ended up flying over the handlebars again, hit the same wrist while it was still hurt. I literally, could have cried if it wasn't for all those people in the intersection rolling down their windows checking on me. I jumped up and brushed it off like, ah, no big deal. But uh, that was wreck number two. Okay, I had to change locations. I had some people creeping on me, and I really don't like filming around people, and they don't know what I'm doing because then they think I'm the creeper. I don't want to be a creeper. So, wreck number three. Wreck number three wasn't an actual, like, ball wreck, but what happened is I was running up to a little corner store to get a beer, I mean, get a drink, and I was on my way back and I was cruising. And usually when I'm driving, what I'll do is, while I'm standing, if I'm going fast, I'll just hold on to the handlebars while I'm standing. That way, if it starts to get to wobbly, I got my hands to help me reel her back in. 
well, on this instance, I was doing probably about 18, 19 miles an hour, no hands on the handlebars, and it started getting wobbly. I had beers in my pocket, I mean, drinks in my pockets, uh, one in a little baggie holder, and it just started wobbling. And I, I leaned back as hard as I could just to try to like pull her in and get it under control. And for that flash of an instant through your, your, your head, you think, oh, this is gonna hurt. And I really don't wanna do this again. Well, sure enough, it wobbled too hard, it flipped, but I was standing this time. And when it threw me off, I just went into full like running man, like sprint mode. And I don't even know how my old butt ran that quick, but I outran how fast I was going and did not happen to fall. Now, when you're my age and you're out of shape, keyword is out of shape, not necessarily the age part. And you have to sprint like that and you haven't done that since high school, you're gonna feel it the next day. But here's the weird part is, I don't know how it happened, but whenever I stopped, the tops of both of my shoes had holes in them where the big toes were, and it ground through the shoe and through my toenails, which is kind of weird and gross. And that was the last wreck. And I, and I told myself that day, like, if I wreck on this thing bad one more time, because it was like back to back to back wrecks, and I was like, if I wreck this thing one more time, I'm selling this thing because it hurts. And I just felt beat up and just abused. But anyway, that was the last like major incident that I had. The last three or four months, I've been running to the store, riding with the kids on their bikes, running the neighborhood. I've had it start to get wobbly on me a couple of times, but I was able to pull it back in and save the day so I didn't have to worry about it. And it's been good. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is another range test where I'm going to try to get the full range test in today because I want to see how is the battery holding up and am I still able to get 7.15 miles on a charge? And just to make sure that the battery is still in good shape and, you know, being a good battery. But I'm pretty sure it's a cheap Chinese battery and not like Samsung cells or Panasonic cells or anything like that. And so I would expect a little bit of loss of range after X amount of charges, but we're going to find out right now. So let's jump on in and do it. now the moment you've been waiting for i had somebody on my last video say well it says the top speed is 20 miles an hour but i can't get mine to do 20 miles an hour let's find out because i'm 99 percent sure mine does 20 miles an hour let's see how fast we can go okay so we would need to achieve around 32 kilometers an hour i think to reach our goal i'll double check the math on that we're going to do this like Back to the future style. Let's see here. I'm gonna try not to die while I'm holding this camera, riding one-handed. Trying to hit top speed. Okay, I gotta try again. He's getting a little wobbly on me. Thank you. 
Keep trying. I gotta find a smooth patch of road. I didn't see the exact point. Kilometers, take the two, divide the eight, multiply times 64, minus three, equals about 20 miles an hour. So the Super Ride S1000 does do 20 miles an hour. Okay, so we have about Keep that much battery left and when I take off it goes to nothing so that tells me it's getting pretty low so what that means is this is officially the end of this ride and I'm just gonna go total up the kilometers and then we're gonna do just a, a final final thoughts on the super ride s1000 okay so here we are back in the workshop and what are my final thoughts on the Super Ride S1000? First things first, this is not a serious, serious EUC or electric unicycle. It's somewhere in between a toy and a serious electric unicycle. It's great for like cruising around the neighborhood and just, you know, going about 10 miles an hour and just having a good time, just pacing yourself around. As far as range, on the second range test that we did today, I was able to get just over nine miles, which was more than the first time. So maybe the batteries kind of conditioned themselves and they're actually doing better. If you get a serious EUC like the Veteran Sherman or the King Song, you're going to get 80 miles of range and you can do 35 to 50 miles an hour. As to where this, you're lucky to get nine or 10 mile range and you're going to be really pushing it to hit 20 miles an hour and then it becomes really unstable at that point. So not really designed for, for speed, but it is a nice little cruiser. I love, love buzzing around the neighborhood or following the kids on their bikes and things, you know, such as that. So I do really, really enjoy this uh, super ride. It, it really is fun. Now, as far as build quality goes, uh, I think it's quite nice. It is all metal construction. This has taken many tumbles, some at full speed, and I've watched this thing bounce down the road and pick it up with no issues. And I don't know if it's just like how it's designed or what, but when this thing is flipping around, the frame itself or the headlight of the fender never actually touches the ground. It's just the sides of the handlebars, the pedals, and the little, kickstand, the little stanchions in the back right here. These are the only points, no matter how many times it flips down the road, makes contact with the ground. So it's kind of nice because if it wasn't for that, this whole thing right here would be all beat up. And now you're probably wondering, is the Super Ride S1000 right for me? For me, it was as an entry level but now that I've spent the money and I have it, I wish I'd put that money towards a more serious EUC. I was fascinated at the one wheel motorcycle look that this gives. It's got the black frame, the brown padded seat, handlebars. It just looked like a mini motorcycle. And that's what I wanted. And that's what it is. But now that I've figured out that it's really not safe to ride sitting down. It's much, much, much more difficult to ride sitting on your butt than it is standing on your feet. I wish I had just put that money towards a more serious EUC because I would really like to go on longer rides. There's, in my area, there's tons of like paved trails. And as long as you're not a jerk, uh, you know, the police won't bother you. And I would just love to get out and just go and actually be able to go 20 miles or 30 miles and, and come back. And this, you know, you're, you're going to be gone about an hour and that's it. And I just, you know, leaves you wanting more once you learn how to do this. So anyway, with all that being said, 
This is going to probably be my final video on the Super Ride S1000. Uh, if there's something more specific you want to know, I'll be more than happy to make a like a YouTube short or another little small video to address that answer for you. Or you can just send me a message and I will guarantee you I'll answer it. If there's any other questions or anything more that you want to know about this uh, electric vehicle. I hope you enjoyed the first review. I hope you enjoy the updated review. I'm Steve WB and I'm out.